What's up there YouTube? Thanks for stopping by. Well, for today's video we got an R.A.P. video. I hate making these. I really do hate making these, but at the same time, you know, it's good to make these because it helps rest of people out there know what's important and stuff like that. So at the age of 96, Queen Elizabeth II, yeah I think it's the second, Queen Elizabeth II uh, passed away today or last night, uh, either one, but she passed away peacefully and I think in her sleep, I don't know, all they say is that she passed, she passed away peacefully, I'm not sure how. But here's the thing, you see growing up, I never look, really looked at the royal family as people to be admired. Now as I got older, I thought of them a little bit more cool, you know, because when you actually hear how like there's one family controlling a whole country, well damn, that's what we think about here, in, that's what we think in America about the Hollywood system. It's like one, one, one family holding down the whole Hollywood game. But that's not even the case. It's just, you know, something that we like to come up with conspiracies with. That's a problem with us Americans. We're always coming up with conspiracies. And we do it way too much. Way too much. So, yeah. Sorry, I got off topic because the plane was passing. I'm trying to think of what I was saying. Anyways, uh, so as I got older, I ended up seeing uh, from South Park there was an episode where they were showing the royal wedding of I think it was Princess Diana's royal wedding. Well, yeah, it was Princess Diana's uh, royal wedding, and you know they kind of made a big goof about it. But that's not the part that I was paying more attention to. You know, they're like, oh, now here comes a prince and the princess about to dump their hands in a royal pudding. Now they're going to wipe their pudding off each other's hands. I don't know. It's weird. But the part that I paid most attention to was how Ike reacted. Uh, Kyle's little brother reacted to the whole situation because he's Canadian. And so after seeing that, I kind of figured, oh, wow, when you actually think about it, I guess there is a lot of French people in Canada. So, or I don't know. That, that just made me think that now not only the Bur Burmias, Burmios, dang I forgot how to pronounce it, Burmese, Burmanis, Burmanis, the Burmanis Palace, Palace blah, 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 blah. that's a tongue twister, the Burmanis Palace, oh my god I can't say it, and I just knew how to say it like 10 minutes ago, anyways. But yeah, I realized after watching that South Park episode that wasn't just uh, London or whatever that is that really respects the Queen for what she does, but it's also Canada that respects the Queen for what she does. Makes sense to me, honestly. I don't know. I, I just see Canadians like looking at the royal family and being like, yeah, that's what we need, a royal family. Probably got one. I don't know what Canada has. But, um,. Anyways, so after seeing that South Park episode, I went from thinking of the royal family as just being cool to being powerful. And then, years later, probably five to six, maybe even seven years later after watching that episode of South Park, we get the whole scandalous thing coming out, you know. Oh, the royal family did this. The royal family did that. They're dirty, pervy people. I said no to that. I said no, 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 no. 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 <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me. Honestly. It's like... These people are trying to live... Most of these people in the royal family want, probably want to live a normal life at, a lot of the time. More than... Most of the time they're living that royal life, you know, so they have to sneak away. They have to, you know, do stuff that looks sus in order to get away 
from all those eyes. When you're part of that royal family, you're going to basically be watched 24-7. Because you're, you're basically the world's family. And that's why I want to get on to next. What I think cool about Queen Elizabeth II, she wasn't just a grandmother to her family and the royal family, but she was a grandmother to her whole nation. And then to people from other nations, like other countries, you know. Basically, for most of her life, she was, mm, not most, but for a big chunk of her life, she was basically grandma to basically the whole world. Come on now. My favorite part about Queen Elizabeth II is whenever they put her in movies. Oh my God, they, they made her overpowered in movies, and I loved that about it, you know. She would always be able like to throw a punch and knock anyone out. <laughs> An 80 year old woman just going around like, you know who I am, <laughs> boom. It's the person, they're out. Uh, yeah, so it basically showed you never disrespect her. That, that was cool. I always love to see her in movies. Uh, so, this video is for those that, you know, are mourning her death. Um, just hang in there. Stay awesome, Birmingham's Palace. And I hope your king is as cool as your queen was, you know. Because that's what you deserve when you think about it. Shoot. 70 years of ruling over a nation? 1926 to 2022. Think about that, people. That's almost a hundred, that's almost a century. Not just a decade. It's almost a century. So close. Wait a second. I think it is a century. Wait, how is that possible? She's only 96. How is that possible? Hold on a second. Let me count this out. 1926 to 2022. Dang. That's messed up. So basically, if she was if she was still alive for another three, four, five, six, four years, and she made the she was still ruling in 2026, she would have basically ruled over a nation for a hundred years. Shoot, honestly, as far as she went, that's that's a new record, <laughs> you know, <laughs> for any leader out there. You all, all you leaders, better look at the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II and see what she did right to lead for that long and to have such a peaceful ending after all that time. <laughs> you know, that's what you leaders need to be looking at, trying to figure out next. Honestly, I. When, when um, people are making up those conspiracy theories about the royal family being lizard people and this and that, I quickly shrugged that off. I quickly shrugged that off. Honestly, I thought, <laughs> here's a funny thing, I think. I thought, um, what's her face? That one lady that ran for president for America a couple of years ago, I can't say her name because it's basically slandering at that point. You see, she's not as cool as Queen Elizabeth. She's not even close. She's not even close. She's not even an ounce of coolness or anything. But I can't even say her name or I'll get my whole channel shut down. And all I could call her is a lady that ran for president. The tremble and falling. And the most important part is what I'm bringing up is that she spit those two green spits in her glass of water that one time. I was like, okay, after watching them. She's more reptilian than the queen is, that's for sure. <laughs> Sitting there spinning up green balls. What the hell are you doing? What, what are you doing? But anyways. Yeah, so I never really thought, when, whenever people try to use that conspiracy theory, oh, the, the royal family is lizard people, and the proof is in the pudding because look how old she is. <clears throat> Well, here's some news flash for you people are trying to say that. People can live up to be 102, honestly. Hell, even unhealthy people can live up to be 98. You know? It's really untelling how far someone can actually live to. 
It really is. So when you try to say age is something to do with reptilians, it makes no sense to me. I throw that out the out the window right away, like, nope. You need more harder proof than that. Cause I look at my freaking grandma from Guatemala and I think she's like 102 now or something. Still alive. <laughs> you know? But um but yeah, I know how it sucks to lose a grandma, it really does. You know, when you think about it, I'm pretty sure a lot of us, uh, for most cases, uh, you know, we ha we all had that awesome grandma. And of course, we had to lose that awesome grandma due to the time. And so, yeah, I know how you all feel, you know, in Burmese Palace, losing your queen. You lost your grandma, and that sucks. Well, hopefully, you know, you get through this morning and you stay awesome. That's all I got to say. R.I.P. to the Queen Elizabeth II. You had a long, good run. A good run. And you did some awesome things, you know. Stay awesome there, people. Stay awesome.